Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the Routing and Remote Access Service, also known as RRAS, it is not starting properly on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So basically, it's a Microsoft API software router that allows businesses to deploy VPN connections over their organization's network. So, and if you're coming across this error message when going through Event Viewer, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve this without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu and type in RegEdit. Best match to go back to Registry Editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go ahead and select Yes. Before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. So in order to create a backup, all you have to do is select File and then Export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set Export Range to All and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on either your computer or an external hard drive, which is probably going to be a safer bet. And then if you ever need to import it back in, or basically just reverting it back to how it was before we do any modifications, you would select File and then Import, and then navigate to the file location, either it's on your computer or that drive, wherever you may have saved it. And now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start off by double-clicking on the HK Local Machine folder. Do the same thing now for the System folder, so go ahead and double-click on that. Same thing for Current Control Set. And there should be a services folder, double click on that. And then finally, you want to look for a RAS, R-A-S, MAN, M-A-N folder. So I'm just going to click on a random folder here and just start typing it in. It will take you to that folder. So again, R-A-S, M-A-N. So if you look up at the top bar here, each backslash is a different subfolder we've gone under to get to this point. And now you want to direct your attention over to the right side here. And you want to locate a value that says SVC host split disable. Double click on that. You want to set the value data to 1. So delete any other numbers that are in here. Type in number 1. Base should be hexadecimal. And you want to select OK. If this value was not in here, you may have to create it. So you just would right click in a blank area, select new, and then DWORD 32 bit value. And you would name it SVC host split disable. First letter of each word should be capitalized. And then you would double click on it. And again, set the value data to one, like you see it on my screen here. And then once you're done with that, we're going to go ahead and look at a different service here. So you want to go ahead to remote access. So we're going to either scroll down or just type it in, but you can see it says remote access. And now you want to locate, again, the SVC host split disable. There should be another DWORD value over here as well. Double click on it. And again, make sure value data is set to 1. And if you didn't see it, you would have to go ahead and create it. Same way we did the other one. So pretty straightforward. So go ahead and close out of there. And then if you had to make any changes, you want to go ahead and actually restart your computer at this point. So go ahead and close out of any open windows and programs and go ahead and restart your computer. And now, if you want to go ahead and open up the search menu and type in services, best match should come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to locate the routing and remote access service. So I'm just going to scroll down here. And double click on it. Make sure startup type is set to automatic. And then select apply and then start the service and then select OK, and then hopefully you should be good to go. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do a positive to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.